Kampala's skyline is rapidly changing face, with investors targeting the commercial, residential and office space. And soon, Kampala will be host to a new project. State Minister for Trade David Bahati is quoting new investors. I'm just here to launch this, this project. So government will have a number of incentives and I'm happy that the Commissioner General of URA, John, just came in. A few minutes ago, I was talking to him to give me a list, so I'll ask him to pass over the list of incentives that we have in the housing sector uh, for you to take care of, uh, to rather to take advantage of these incentives. We also continue to build a, a conducive environment in terms of peace and security so that you can enjoy the investment that we put here in Uganda. We are running a liberal economy. You put in your own money, make profits, you are allowed to take the profits out without any, any, any problems. According to investors, the lure of the African dream is beginning to attract their attention to markets such as Uganda. We have to refresh or to update the data about the new markets in Africa because we, we have very big expansion plan in Africa, not just uh, one branch or two branches or three branches. We have uh, a target to do uh, 10 uh, branches in v v the, the best or the biggest uh, 10 uh, capitals in, in Africa. But we're bringing the same quality that we've done in Nairobi, we've done in Ghana, and we're actually aiming to do much more in Kampala. The building has full amenities. I'm talking about every single thing you may want in the comfort of your home. Completion, we're launching this project tonight and we hope to complete it in July 2027. Even for then, that would actually be a record time for a 24 tower. This new development is evidence of the increasing demand for prime housing in city locations such as Kololo and Nakasero, where monthly rental prices are increasingly getting attractive to investors and occupancy rates edged up 6% in the second quarter of 2023. Because now the only area where land is increasing, where it is elastic economically, is the vertical one. So we are now trying to start the one of its kind, to start going vertical. Just like any other cities, when you people, you fly out in the most of the Western world cities and Cairo and others, people are 20 floors, 30 floors, 40 floors up. For us, the best we can go is 10 floors. I'm confident that we will achieve a great success and leave a legacy that we can all be proud of. At the core, we are more than just a real estate developer. We are creators of investment, opportunities, and communities. Kampala City is growing at a rapid pace and estimated to have a population of about 5 million people. This state of affairs is forcing government to open up investors with interests in high-rise residential property plans. Marco Musime, NTV Weekend Edition.